Dear Dad, happy 80th birthday. It's tough to put it into words. All the great things you've done and all the wonderful what? All the wonderful ways you've impacted my life. But I'll try to highlight a few. From as young as I can remember, you always made me feel special. You told me I was a great singer and together we would sing. We'd sing nursery rhymes like Mary Had a Little Lamb and Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And we'd take car rides to the store or to nowhere just to spend time. I loved dressing up at Easter with my gloves that... Oh, my gloves, hat, and dress, complete with a shawl or poncho, and then holding hands as we walked into church. I couldn't wait to show you all my masterpieces, and there were many, because you were quick to compliment my artistry, even when you had no idea what I'd drawn. <laughs> Later, as I got older, you attended many basement dress-up shows and cheered me along at my dance recitals. You helped us all build lock and blocks and Lincoln log cabins. Legos too when we couldn't recreate the pictures. Christmas morning was always special even with you barking orders and making us read all the instructions before we could play with our toys. <laughs> You took in my first dog, Bobo, tried to give me my first kitty, Snowflake, and drove out to get my next beloved dog, Max. Not to mention Howard Hare before that. Uh -huh. You provided our first really cool playhouse, complete with a real door and windows, then promptly removed the lock when we began to lock each other out. <laughs> you created a fabulous dollhouse, quite state-of-the-art, on a lazy Susan, sure and did. fashioned it with furnishings from previous homemaking. It really special. What? Was special. Uh, other fond memories include hours spent on school projects, like a working volcano and a working reenactment of the Salem with witchcraft witch craft trials. Huh. You were a natural born town guide and historian, leaving us with loads of memories of trips to Philadelphia, Williamsburg, Maine. Uh -huh. Ocean City, Disney, and DC, just to name a few. You taught me that family <laughs> comes first. You always gave our wait, you always gave of yourself and put us all before others and certainly before yourself. You taught me that hard work what? pays off. <laughs> that integrity is everything that I could do and be anything I wanted to be to include being the first female president if I wanted to be. Uh -huh. You bought me my first and only blue left hand with <laughs> baseball glove yeah. and taught me how to play catch and hit a ball. You taught me the importance of books, your love of bookstores, and told me on tours. Took of, me on tours. Uh, took me on tours yeah. of many libraries. <laughs> you were brave when I was in the hospital and didn't flinch even when I cried for mom. The day I got my lung. Tap, tap. Yeah, we remember you that. You got a long tap too? No, Patty did. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I thought she was saying she got a long tap. No, she's, she's yes. reading Patty. <laughs> no, no. Patty yeah. wrote this. This is Sydney's reading what Patty's reading. Read it again.
again, yeah. so Andy hears it. The first, just that It's all right, part. actually, no, just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, you provided me with my first pink camera and toolbox and taught me I could do things on my own, but you were only a phone call away if I needed. You helped me more in and out of dorm rooms and apartments and never complained. You, of course, were around for all my important life events from losing my first tooth to graduating high school and college, marriage, both children, both children's births, and many, many things in between, some of the most important things any dad can give his daughter and that you certainly gave me were the things you can't oh okay yeah and things that you can't see but can feel i always felt special and i always uh oh felt beautiful beautiful yes, I could do anything you appreciated. My efforts. My burnt brownies were good. All you needed was no, to dip them in milk. <laughs> <laughs> Most of all family values. <laughs> 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 values and treating others with uh, respect. Oh, I don't know. Honor? I don't think that's uh -oh. what it says, but okay. Honor this and respect. You've been a great father. Yeah, it is what it says. You've been a great father and a great example of a husband and grandfather. Happy, happy day with lots of love always, Patty. Woo! Yay! So nice.